Hello and welcome to Caravan Salon 2021 and in this video I'm going to show you something from Remo. Precisely what I'm going to show you from Remo I don't know as I haven't actually decided yet but no doubt a decision will be made by the time I get to the stand. And so here we are on the Remo stand and I'm going to have a look at this one here with this overcab up here. It says there Remo 22. It doesn't mean to say it's uh, the model's called 22 because they're all Remo 22s. It's referring to the year, which is 2022. This vehicle here is going to cost 56,000 and it is open. Uh, so uh, this is a comparatively cheap brand, as you can tell from the price, possibly. Uh, this one here, overcab, big overcab up here. It's got a only one window in, but there is a lot of space above it. This part here will actually move up like that and allow you to stand up if you're sitting in this chair without banging your head. In fact, we're gonna try that one right now. I wanna turn it around so you can see me. There's me. And now I'm going to stand up. Well, I was a bit frightened. I admit that. But uh, there you go. This is behind me. So you can sit in the chair and stand up without any problems. That's a good sign. That's round. And so I like I don't like banging my head. You might have seen this in previous videos. I don't think banging your head is a good idea. You might think it's a fantastic idea to go on banging your head, but uh, I'm not so keen on the idea. Oh, how do you open this? I've forgotten. Oh, it's open. Oh, it's a bit stiff. Now, uh, something here I wanted to show you. Oh yes, it was the lighting, yeah. Uh, lighting, I think, looks quite quite good, actually. Uh, I'm not certain what you can use this for. Maybe it'll be something. You could leave things up there if the vehicle wasn't in motion. Here we've got three burners, a sink, and uh, a bit of space around, uh, around the two of them to actually uh, do preparation with. Oh, in here. All right, I'm going to open this up. Now we open this, so you've got... Right, uh, couldn't think of anything to say about that. And uh, more space here. And at least it's got a, a bit of a wall there. Actually, that's better than in many far more expensive vehicles. All right, uh, here we see the bed system. These are... You know what, I don't even know if it's a German layout or single beds, I can't tell. There is a place here actually to place a, on this side, um, something to stop, uh, to, to join the beds up with, but not on this side. So that we'll have to assume it's a single bed layout with non-joinable beds. There's some place there though for your, your spare beer. And through here, you'll find there's more space for your spare beer. But just let me know is that enough space for your beer if you're going away for a couple of weeks or do you feel it's not enough because if you feel it's not enough you do get a water tank with i think it's 100 or 120 liters inside i know that won't last very long but with the space at the back then you know it might keep you in beer for a couple of days longer as long as you travel by yourself uh, here, got a toilet, so that's where your recycled beer goes, down there, there's Thetford, they specialise in recycled beers, so what you do is, it goes into one of their cassettes, and then you can dump it at the appropriate place. There's me in the mirror, just in case you forgot what I look like. I can't see the point of the, this yet. I've still seen this in other vans. I mean, what's the point of having that ledge there? You don't know, see me in the shower. It doesn't really help, actually. The shower's wide enough. The problem is this, this ledge. And I still can't understand it. I mean, in some cases, the ledge, you know, it's great. You can sit on it and uh, wash your feet. I'm really into washing your feet, actually. I feel it's, uh, it's nice to have clean feet after you've been cycling. 
never mind the rest of your body of course but as long as you've got clean feet you should be okay uh fridge There's your heating and there's your controls for your electrics. This is a very basic vehicle. Very basic. But uh, the price is basic as well. There's the garage we saw earlier. Also not carrying beer in. Right, so that's an over cab. This one, Seal 5, costs just over 54,000. Six seating places, and the door is open. Right, let's see if we can find where these six seating places are. Well, there's two there, two there, and two up front. Similar over cab up here. You can make, uh, two people can sleep there, two people can sleep there, Two people sleep there, seven can sleep on the floor. You can easily pack 43 people into this vehicle. Got a net there to stop yourself falling out. And here we have a kennel for the dog. To get a rhinoceros in there. Well, a small one anyway. Pretty good, eh? I thought you can only take 150 kilos in weight. So you want to make sure you've got a light rhinoceros. Oh, look at that, amazingly large wardrobe. And down here, we have the boiler. And uh, just in case you're wondering where the grill is, it's on that, it's, it's over there. That's the grill for the uh, uh, gases to get out. Don't try cooking on that grill there, there's a bit of advice. Uh, I bet you're glad I mentioned that. This is an unusual shit, what could this be? There's the toilet. And there's the shower. And it's quite a deep shower. If you get a plug for that, I mean, you can find one, then uh, you can put some water in it, you can sort of paddle in it. Or alternatively, you get a van like mine, where it's continued getting blocked, and then you don't need a plug at all. All right, here we've got Right, okay, it's pretty basic. Fridge here. Same one as any other one, so I won't open the bottom one. Because the ladder's in the way. And there's a mirror. There's me in the mirror. All right, so we've seen that. And now, it's got an entrance like mine as well. Seal 5. Combi C4. Gas heating. Gas uh, heating, yes, sorry. and 89 litre fridge. And uh, okay, that's it. Is there any more here with a cab over that are open? No, they're closing them now. Oh, well, there's two more cab over vans, but it looks like that's it for the day. It's all over. So this one here is not getting filmed, although that one there I filmed the other day. So, uh, this one's quite handy actually because the dog can be in there and you can leave the thing open and the dog can stick his head out. Alternatively, you can use this as a horse box. Right, okay then. I'll, I can take a hint. I shall go elsewhere and bother somebody else. So there you have it. There's um, the Seal 695 motorhome, overcab motorhome from Remo, sleeps 87 people, and it's at a comparatively low cost for a motorhome. Thanks for watching, and if you found that interesting, then uh, you found it interesting. Good. So all the best from Dusseldorf.